Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the October 31st Halloween special edition of Pro Wrestling Throwdown. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams. I'm Caleb Black. That's the Mighty Max Fury, and we are talking about Halloween Havoc. We decided this week, because they brought the name back, that we're going to go back to the old format for this week and review NXT as a whole, where NXT did the Halloween Havoc special on USA Network to counter AEW's Dynamite. Two hours and eight minutes. Two hours and eight minutes. Uh, first of all, the set was lame. Yeah, it was super lame. Uh, that's because we are... I'm a child of... The '90s, where Halloween Havoc was a huge set. I was a child. I was a child of the '80s, and it was huge then. Right. So, uh, if you're not familiar, Halloween thing. Havoc was WCW's, in my opinion, their their big titular pay per view. In uh, everyone else's opinion, this arguably week. Starcade to SummerSlam. Yeah. WrestleMania to SummerSlam is Starcade to Halloween Havoc. The only reason I say that is because Starcade was around several years before. Halloween. Right. Well, it was the NWA WCW yeah. Yeah. big counter yeah. uh, again counter to WrestleMania. But yeah, the set was actually. Lame. Didn't the first Starcade come before the first WrestleMania? Didn't it? Max, will you do us a favor and look that up while we talk about no. Halloween Havoc? No. No. Star the first Starcade was in 85. WrestleMania was in 83. 83. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so let's talk about Halloween Havoc. Uh, first of all... They had that big stupid wheel. <sighs> the spin the wheel make a deal. I... It wasn't good when Jake and them did Right. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. And no. I didn't see a Coal Miners Club match. I'm very upset. <laughs> That's right, the loaded, the loaded coal miners glove. Uh, let's talk about the matches that happened. We okay. did see Johnny Gargano wrestle Damian Priest for the North American Championship. Question: Yes, do you think David Arquette was Ghostface's go around? I didn't think about that. Yeah, that would have been smart. Would have been smart. Would have been a tie into the new Scream movie. You can't kill right? David Arquette. No, you can't. <laughs> Trust me, Nick Gage tried. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Johnny Gargano, it's like a bad penny, <laughs> just can't get rid of it. Johnny Gargano defeats Damian Priest for the North American Championship. I liked this match. I wasn't overly fond of the finish because, honestly, as much as I disparage Damian Priest for the leg slapping, and believe me, it's a problem. Damian Priest is a full grown man, has the look, has the attitude, has the ability. My problem was the twenty seven thousand stinger splashes in the corner. Oh yeah, okay, was first. Starcade was first, really. Starcade was first. Starcade, Starcade was 83, WrestleMania was 85. Incorrect. The first WrestleMania was 83. Uh, Ra WrestleMania was 1983. It was the year I was born. This was, it was founded in 85. I don't believe that's correct. I don't know. I will double check on this. Yeah. First event, it says 85. Yeah. Huh. Well, let's keep this rolling, and we'll double-check that as we get along. What ha what else happened on NXT's Halloween Havoc? I'll look for more. A sources. bunch of nothing. I, I thought the show was horrible. Um, uh, we had Cameron Grimes versus uh, Dexter Loomis in a haunted, haunted house, house match. Yeah. Where the, the you know what the saving grace to that segment was? Cameron Grimes trying to beg William Regal to change his mind and just give him the loss. Yeah. Because he didn't want to wrestle Dexter Loomis. And then when the van pulls up... Yeah. To get him, and the door opens. Michael P. S. Hayes comes out to the Bad Street. <laughs> Fantastic uh, match was pretty much what you would expect from something like that. With of course Loomis going over. Yeah, uh, Dexter Loomis. Uh, I'm glad is back from injury. Uh, again, the gimmick that he has, I don't hate. I. <laughs> Uh, we're dis four. We're this discussing the WrestleMania Starcade disparity. Sorry, guys. We've got to keep this video rolling. Uh, what else did we see on NXT's Halloween Havoc? Uh, also, you had Rhea Ripley uh, wrestling. Uh, I can never think of her name. Uh, Dakota Kai's bodyguard, Raquel... Uh, Raquel Gonzalez. Yes. Yeah. Uh, of course, Rhea Ripley taking the win there. Yeah. It was basically a night of, of wins being taken the way you thought they would. Yeah. It was definitely a, um, we'll put this on and make the fans happy show. Uh, the the biggest uh, uh, the main event of the night was the women's uh, what did they call it the women's title match was that also that was also it was a spin, a spin the wheel, the wheel make the deal, deal match, yeah. and it and it was Io Shirai and Candice LeRae Candice LeRae yeah. uh, of course the champion retaining because yeah. because uh, the biggest thing for for Halloween I know that it's horrible that this review is going the way it is but. You expected it. If it's yeah. not on pay per view, don't call it Halloween Havoc. Well, that's my thing. I know that. Well, because they're not the only ones who are doing it. AEW does it with the Bash at the Beach. Right. And, no, it's just a Halloween episode of 
NXT. That's all it was. There wasn't anything different. There wasn't anything cool. No. They've got Sting on a Legends contract. They couldn't have Sting come out and do something. Right. They, they've got, you know, they're, and also, NXT doesn't really have the gimmick support. You know what I mean? To make right. Halloween Havoc was special. But uh, this was just an episode of NXT Wrestling on Wednesday. Correct. And I hated the fact that Damian Priest, unless, like I was talking about before, unless Damian Priest is the next guy in line for the NXT title, that's the only reason I would have taken the belt off of him if Finn Balor's injury was going too long. Oh! Pete Dunne returned. I was just about to yep. say the most interesting part, <laughs> the of best the, part of the show was Pete Dunne's uh, heel turn on uh, Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, By the way, to add a uh, another layer to the WrestleMania Starcade debate, uh, Starcade was first. The Starcade wasn't a pay per view. It was post circuit. Starcade was well, it wasn't even uh, yeah. Unless you did bought a ticket to the yep, show, it was closed circuit television. It was closed circuit yeah. television. Uh, Fun fact to about add that. To that, I did find uh, according to Wikipedia, mm. uh, which is normally correct with all my information. WrestleMania they was conceptualized conceptualized by Vince McMahon in '84. Howard Finkel is credited with the name yes, WrestleMania. Yes. First event was in '85. Yeah, gotcha. and he actually he wouldn't have had the million dollars to make WrestleMania happen had was it Jack Briscoe or Patterson? Uh, Patterson. When uh, until Patterson stole uh, sold his shares of what would have been what, WCW. Yeah, and that's how they made the million dollars to to make WrestleMania happen. Was Patterson selling out WCW and signing the full time contract with the WWF? <laughs> Also, to further that, uh, Vince McMahon, after the was it second or third Starcade, I think, uh, started calling the cable companies and threatening to pull WrestleMania if the pay per view if they were going to display Starcade. Instead. Yes, if they were going to run it opposite the same day, which is why Starcade eighty five right. or Starcade eighty six had such a low uh, low payout, low viewership, was because Vince called the cable companies. Tra- also, a lot of people don't realize that the first Survivor Series and Clash of the Champions were ran on the, on same, the same day. Night. Yep. And that Clash of the Champions was given away for free on TBS while Survivor Series was on. I thought Clash of Champions ran up at WrestleMania. No, no, it was Survivor, Survivor Series. Series. Yeah, uh, because it was ran on Thanksgiving night. Yeah, and that was the only pay per view back in the day for WWF that wasn't ran on a Sunday. Yeah, it was ran right. whatever day Thanksgiving fell on. Yep, which was which, was which the is kind of neat. Thursday of every month. Um, also, uh, well, okay, so. Anyway, uh, uh, WrestleMania, yeah. Starcade. Now that we've talked about those, let's get back to Halloween Havoc. <laughs> that's what this, um, this is a derailment, guys. It's fine. It happens. We do it all uh, the but time. But of course, you know, look at the card and and the results. Yeah. Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne returning. And by the basically, way, basically this was this week's NXT. Yeah, looked like a monster though. Looked great. Uh, I think I think having the absence of the NXT champion hurt it. Yes, it did. You know, if we're going to do this this special, not having even if I, I understand Finn Balor's still recovering and he couldn't wrestle, but at least have him come out and talk, have him come out and do something, have him have, have a presence. Even if he doesn't come out, have something yeah. to talk about the championship. I agree. Also, honestly, uh, and equality and everything <laughs> aside. The women's match should have not went on last. I agree. The women's match should have went on first. Gargano. The North Davey American should title should have been the main event. Because the title switched hands. Yeah. And also, it's their second tier championship. Correct. And while we want to display women's women's wrestling in the most positive light, your second tier title should have main evented if it wasn't going to be your World Tag Team titles. Correct. Because, like you said, the title switched hands, which would have made it, would have made it mean more to main event. Also, there should have been tag title. There should have been a tag title match. I agree. I completely agree with that. If you're going to run something like a Halloween Havoc, or a pay-per-view style card. Yeah, All titles should be represented. I completely agree. Now I understand the NXT title not being represented because the champions hurt. Yep. Fine. Yeah. But the rest of the titles should have been on the line. The cruiserweight champion wrestled as well, which is yeah. a match we forgot to mention. Really? Uh, Escobar, Escobar versus uh, a- Atlas. Yeah, I think uh, Jake Atlas. Jake, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course he won. Uh, duh. Yeah. The title wasn't on the line, but at least. Yeah. The championship was... And honestly, different. they could have had Walter there as NXT UK champion. Something. Dude. dude. More... Sorry. You and your talking of Walter, you've him. got drool on your face. I love him so much. <laughs> He's so good because he hits people really hard. He, do really <laughs> does. <laughs> and he, he doesn't really does. does. No. Uh, what do you, you know guys... how Hardcore Holly used to say he hits people hard but in safe places? Walter, don't give a shit. Walter, Walter's <laughs> going to answer. 
That's, that's just about it. Guys, this video went to the dogs, but that's all right because he's the dog and we don't give a shit. Uh, let us know what hey, you think. Hey, there was a history lesson. There was Enjoy a history it. lesson, by God. Uh, let us know what you think about Starcade. What you think about WrestleMania. That's what right, right down here. Kid, Heck with the what you think about Halloween Havoc? Remember this? Halloween, Halloween Havoc right here? See, this is Halloween <laughs> Havoc right here? Yeah, ignore that. WrestleMania and, and Starcade. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Pro Wrestling. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, let us know in the comments down below after you like and subscribe. Send us an email at prowrestlingthrowdown at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Find us on Twitter at pro wrestling throwdown TD. And stay tuned for today in the wrestling the history where we get derailed and talk about WrestleMania. <laughs> no.